Good morning. Today is Friday, June 10th. TGIF, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for Friday. I'm thankful that I went to bed early. I'm thankful that I woke up at 4.30 and took a shower and washed this hair. Oh, she's clean. I'm thankful I had time to do my nails. Look at these, they're like watermelons. I am seriously still obsessed with nail stickers. They make my day. These sets too, I got off of Etsy. And I wanna say the name of the store is called Sawyer and Scout. The nail stickers, you can get two wears if you cut them in half, but they, um, the last set I wore lasted two weeks and I ended up peeling them off. And usually for me, these are the nails that pop off sometimes within like a day because it's almost like my beds are super curved on these fingers and I'm guessing maybe they're oily, but I'm hoping these last just as long because they're so stinking cute. Cut them in half, I give them to a friend, so I get nails, my friends get nails, and it's fun. Um, hold on. To prepare from frozen, remove your wrapper, wrap in paper towel, defrost for 90 seconds, turn sandwich over, then heat for 50. I left my freezer open. I don't even know if I know how to defrost. With my microwave. We're making the kiddos breakfast though. I saw these and they were on sale for $7.99 for four, which is a banging deal for these. These things are usually like 12 bucks. Jimmy need, needs to calm down. <laughs> so yeah, I probably should eat one, but it's 400 calories for just one. And uh, I'm considering calorie counting again. I just feel so freaking tired all the time. And I really think that it might have to do with my weight. Hi, so You wanna say hello? Oh, I don't know where you're going. You wanna say hello? Look at how big she be. She be kiki. You don't, you didn't want this, did you? You weren't into this. She's upset with me. You're still making videos? Yes. You want to say hi? You're so pretty. She's not my cat anymore. She's wild. You're a wild child, aren't you? Okay, I'll put you down. Um, I've got to do some work prep this morning and my house is a mess, but it's fine because it's Friday, so I'll have tomorrow to work on it. Is that all I got to say right now? You guys need to help me remember. Bring your book to work, Raina. It's gonna be a rainy lunch break, and I thought that's a perfect time to eat in my office and read. So don't forget your book, Raina. <laughs> Show you guys the stunning outfit of the day. We've got freshly painted toes. Hi, Blue. Sandals I got from Marshalls. These jeans, I think they're rock star jeans from Old Navy, so cute. And then another shirt I've gotten from Marshalls. I love the, the ruffle moment. I feel like maybe I need a necklace or something, but it's Friday, so your girl gets to wear jeans. Okay, dear Apple. Your idea of holding down side buttons to SOS is a terrible idea. Cause I've almost called emergency more than once because of it. When I put you guys in this stand, I have to like center my phone as much as possible. Otherwise you guys are like, and there's buttons that I accidentally hold down almost every time. Okay, gonna prep my work. The steps of prepping work every morning. Uh, I only do it tw twice a week because I share this duty with other people, but we have staff. When fully staffed, we'd have 27 people, but we really haven't had that. I would say on average, we've been having about 18 people. 
Um, but for those 18 people every day, we have to give them tasks to do. And our tasks range for intake. So people are gonna be assigned to appointments to um, assess people's eligibility for food stamps, for Medicaid, for Medicare savings programs. Um, and then there will be people that we will assign to our phone lines to answer the phone calls coming in. Um, and then we have people assigned to um, what we call renewals. So all of our programs, you have to essentially reapply um, yearly. Um, some of them you have to check in sooner than that, but um, we have people assigned to handling those. So they'll have specific cases that they've got to reach out to people and do interviews and see how things are going. So my first step in the morning is I always check my phone to see if my counterpart has notified me of anybody calling out. Um, if that's the case, then I have to update our, obviously our master list of who we are um, scheduling. And then after that, I go into our scheduling board and assign the tasks um, and then kind of move around breaks and appointments to make everything work for the day. And then I send an email out to the teams to let them know what they're doing. So. It's something I actually enjoy doing and if I could take on this duty daily, I probably would because I love this kind of stuff. Um, I like figuring things out, especially when it gets hairy. Like if we get a lot of people that have called out or on vacation or whatever, um, or maybe there's trainings going on, it can complicate meeting the needs of our consumers and for some reason, I love that. So. I'm gonna work on that. It is 7.26 now. Um, I'll probably be done by eight o'clock and then I've got about 15 minutes to get Finley dressed. I tend to tell the older one to get dressed. And then I've gotta make their lunches and my lunch. At 8.15 I have to sign on to do a quick little huddle with my personal team. Um, we like to kind of check in on Friday, see how everybody's doing over Zoom and um, see what everybody's weekend plans are. It's usually a very chill huddle. And at 8.30, I got to get my butt out the door so Brody can get to school and Finley can get to daycare and I can get to work. So I just felt like inserting that little information because I feel like every time I do a morning routine, it's different. My life is ever changing and I love it. How come we only have 16 people today? Wait a minute, I don't think that's what I had. I thought I had 18 people. Remember, I love this, I love this, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it gives me life to see this when I'm trying to do things. That was my elbow, I didn't fart. <laughs> Made it. 753. I love this for me. What is that, Rena? Is that is that Nutella that you dropped face down on the ground? Why yes. Yes it is. Okay, kiddos lunches are packed. Brody wants to have pizza or chicken sandwich at school this Friday, so he said he just wanted a bag full of snacks. Whoa. So we got him seaweed. We got pizza. him chips. <laughs> I'm talking about pizza. Yeah, Bubby gets to have pizza at school. Why? Because that's what happens on Fridays at school. Pizza. Yeah. It's in my lunch. No, you don't have pizza. It's Bubby. He has pizza at school. Ow. It's part of being a big kid. Next year, you'll have pizza at school, okay? All right, so he wanted a bag full of snacks. I said chili cheese, Fritos, seaweed, some apple strawberry, um, applesauce, a Capri Sun in there, and then I threw a little candy treat. And then for Finley, he has, yes, babe, just for a little bit. We've got uh, some cinnamon apple straws. He's got a peanut butter Nutella sandwich, a little candy bar, some grapes. 
He has uh, gummies and then underneath this a, well, I'll show you guys because I can't remember what they're called. Nature Valley muffin blueberry and then a single pepperoni stick. Um, sometimes Finley is growing and he eats like a linebacker. So I have to pack extra things in his bag just in case that happens. So he's got a bag of cheese puffs, a sweet and salty. Ooh, I didn't realize this had caramel in it. So basically a candy bar and also has seaweed. My lunch today is going to be this factor meal. It is roasted garlic chicken with sour cream and onion mashed potatoes. It's 520 calories. And that's what it looks like. Nope, this is for mama. This is my lunch today. We're going to have some Mexican food tonight. So I could take one of these for lunch. I'm only taking one can of um, sparkling water because I'm pretty sure I have two in the fridge at work. Gonna need a fork. And then my breakfast, I purchased some Kind Bars. Um, so I'm just gonna eat one of those at my desk this morning. So that's my lunch. I wish I could have videoed the sweetest thing. Okay, so we have a peony bush in front of our house. And I don't know if it's just the type of bush we have, but the flowers grow so long that they kind of like droop down and they look funny. So it's kind of like a bouquet bush to me. I always want to trim the flowers and share them. And so when we're leaving this morning, there was quite a few flowers that are like blooming and I trimmed them and I asked Finn if he'd like to give a bouquet to his teacher. And he was like, yeah, he actually has a favorite teacher that isn't his, his normal teacher, but he also likes his teacher. So he did peek in the, the little kid's room to see if his favorite was there and she wasn't in yet. So he brought the bouquet into his teacher, Mrs. Kate, that's her name. And um, he was so pink and happy to bring those in. And all the other kids were like um, having their snack and they're like, what are the flowers for? And he's all, I grew to them. Anyways, so stinking sweet and cute. I love it. I am running through Starbucks because I found a TikTok order that is a pretty significant iced um, coffee that is less than $5. I'll share a screenshot of it and tell you guys about it here in a second. Okay, I'm gonna share my coffee. To me, it tastes like an iced coffee cinnamon roll. Venti iced coffee, no classic syrup, two pumps vanilla, two pumps cinnamon dulce, splash of half and half caramel drizzle covered in cinnamon powder. Um, I know that that order sounds super complicated, but if you put it into the Starbucks app and order it, it's cake. And I feel, I honestly feel like if you create your drinks through the app, you're gonna get a better drink. This is so, so good. And $4.85. Don't feel guilty about a coffee that's under $5. I don't know about you guys, but I tend to like want to make TikTok coffees and I end up leaving with like a $7 coffee and I was like, what, what just happened? So many of those extra pumps and stuff you put in there have like 50 cents surcharge. Just so you know, I just learned that recently. So anyways. If you do end up trying this, let me know. It's literally coffee cinnamon roll. But not too sweet. Not bad looking lunch, if I do say so myself. Not bad looking. And the chicken is generally pretty fresh. Like, like that's not, you know, a frozen dinner meal quality to me this is totally like leftovers love it reading this i thought i would show you guys the office snacks as of late i always have candy in here for people to stop by we have some hazelnut kit kat bins these lollipops i got at marshall's they taste so good some dove milk chocolate caramel strawberry shortcake Kisses, 
mint. I used to have actual mints in here, but they got spooked. Good old Werther's, Caramels, Gobstocks. It's like over time stuff has accrued in here. Did I get it all? I think so. And then we've got Dippin' Dots of Birthday Cake Cookie Bites. These are delicious. These are also delicious. Snack Club, watermelon rings, chili lime. You need a napkin though. I'm actually gonna take these home because I think Brody will like these. We have a little bit left over sour tropical Starburst Air Gummies. And these have been a hit. People have been grabbing these chewy sprees. You have options. Oh, I'll show you guys this too. We've got, <laughs> in case I forget breakfast and I'm hungry or we have a lot of meetings, kind nut butter bars. Oh, I love nut butter. I got these too as a healthy option. Pomegranate vanilla flavored cashews. Um, yes. I really love these personally, the Neapolitan Bunny Grams. I haven't opened it yet. A few of these I haven't opened yet. They're just here. But of course, of course I opened these because yum. And then lastly, I that sweet tooth that I'm staying out of my candy, which I've done really good with. We got this. Yeah. All right. I'm going to be good. I'm going to eat my lunch. I'm going to drink the drink. Seltzer Aid, Polar, what is it? Strawberry Lemonade? Yes, and we're gonna read. Isn't this nice? Like, just me and the book. Dear Oregon, it is June flipping 10th. Like, a week shy of summer. What are we doing? That's what I wanna know. I wore sandals today. My feet are wet. It's not even like flip-flop sandals, like appropriate to get wet. I wore my nice sandals, Oregon. Get it together. Let's move on. My pool membership opens next weekend. Me and the kids, we'd like to go in and the only reason we get wet is because we're in the pool. So, hear me. Hear me roar. Stop! Going home now, and uh, we're gonna go have yummy Mexican food. There's a Mexican restaurant that is actually by my work. I have to go home and get the boys, and then I'll go back that way. Um, it's pretty dang good. We all really liked it. I had a drink there that was like a giant fish bowl, and it had a rubber ducky in it, and I was all about that but I'll probably be driving back home, so I won't do that. I'll just, I'll just probably get a water, but my husband's very excited, Mr. Keto Man. He is looking forward to his rice and beans today. <laughs> his little break that he does, so yeah. I don't think I have any plans this evening. I'm excited to be post dinner and in my cozies and starting the weekend. Oh, I love weekends. They're my favorite, even if they're rainy. Maybe I'll light some candles and I'll, brace, I'll embrace the rain. <laughs> Pretend it's fall. <laughs> so what else? What else are you gonna do? At least it's not cold, 62 degrees. It's just freaking wet. Sick and tired, Oregon. Sick and tired. It is beautiful here though, so whatever. Maybe I'll show you guys a clip of our dinner if I remember to do that. Sometimes when I haven't vlogged in a long time, I just space out. I'm like, oh shoot. Or I get a picture of like crumbs and then I don't share it with you guys because why do you want to look at my crumbs? You know, those things. So, okay. I'm going to shut up now. Don't you worry about it. Are they making my food really good? Or are they eating it? Those queso birria tacos. Chef's kiss. Last time we were there, I was like, I felt like, okay, I didn't eat them. Ryan got them last time. He's just like, 
they were okay. And when I was looking at them, I was like, they need more cheese. So when I ordered them, I said double the cheese. Best decision of my life. It was so good. Definitely will go back and I kind of want to try other things just to like know more of their menu, but so good. Anywho, we're home. I'm going to end out this video, but I want to show you guys what I got. Um, Ryan for Mother's Day ordered me um, a subscription box through Therabox and it's a therapy box. I'm about taking care of yourself. And I finally got my first box. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. And then I'm going to go get cozy and lay down and stuff. So the theme of the box is Glow Up. And in it, we've got Skin & Co. I've gotten this before in a different subscription box. But it wasn't this one. This is Morning Dew. It's a facial cleanser. Um, you basically rub it into your face for a minute and then wash it off. It's supposed to... Um, do a really good job at pulling out impurities out of your face. I've got this cute little watermelon lipstick. It's just a little pink tube. It's called Watermelon Lipsicle. I don't know what the brand is, but it's just a clear balm that smells like watermelon and I prefer those. I got this really sweet little book. It says Home Sweet Homegrown, How to Grow, Make, Store Your Food no matter where you live. And it just kind of shows you different things, how to plant them. Just like a quick little um, book to, if you're questioning yourself. And then there's other stuff in here like how to build a straw bale and how to make a drip irrigation out of an old hose. Just fun little stuff. It talks about eating your stuff that you grew. And it just really talks about how um, this can be such a therapeutic thing to do. So I love that. I've got this awesome lavender take a breather sugar scrub. I love sugar scrubs, especially after I've shaved my legs, like having that super soft leg. I'm all about that. Um, I have a facial serum. This was pretty exciting too. I read into it and um, it should be helping with like uh, dark spots and kind of overall brighten my face. So I hope that my skin likes this. We'll definitely give it a try. You guys know I love nail stickers and I got French tip ones. <laughs> love that. And lastly, I've got um, for face skincare from Willow Collective, a little ah, headband that says, but for skincare. And I love this because I just normally throw my hair up in a scrunchie. And then a little reusable cotton round, which I do use these. So I love that. And that's it. Isn't that cool? Love it. I feel like this subscription box, just like the thought, the, oh, I didn't even talk about this. We have matcha tea, which I don't know if I like. I've had matcha flavored things before and I feel um, like unsure, but we'll give it a go. I'll follow the instructions. Maybe I'll drink it with you guys or post about it or something. But anyways, such a much more thoughtful box. I feel like they pick things out with intent and it's not just a bunch of crap that they've thrown in like socks and face pokers. And I can't even remember all the ridiculous things I've gotten. I feel like everything in this box is usable. So thank you guys for tuning in for another random vlog. It was super fun filming it. And until next time, take care of love always. Bye.